Hi everyone, my name is Mandy and I'm a horticulturist here at the Toledo Zoo. And today I wanted to take a minute to talk to you about one of our newest invasive insects, the spotted lanternfly. The spotted lanternfly was first found in the United States in 2014 in Pennsylvania. And since then, it's slowly been making its way west and has officially become a big problem here in Ohio. Earlier this year, Lucas County was added to the list of 11 counties that are considered quarantine zones. And so as we come up on the holiday season and everybody's going to start traveling, I just wanted to take a minute to tell you a few things you can look out for to make sure we're not unwitting hosts to the nefarious migration of these insects. Since we've had a few frosts here in Toledo, you're unlikely to find many adults left, but this is the perfect time of year to keep an eye out for the egg masses. The egg masses are very, very well camouflaged, and unlike many insects, spotted lanternfly have absolutely no issue laying their eggs on inanimate objects. One of the places people have been finding egg masses is on our vehicles. So as we begin to travel for the holidays, it's a good idea to just check the underside of your cars, your wheels, to make sure there's not any cheeky egg masses hiding in there. So before you leave county lines or before you leave your town, maybe consider stopping to get a car wash. If you do happen to find an egg mass somewhere, the best way to remove it is to just use something hardened plastic and scrape it off of the plant or object and deposit those eggs into a container of rubbing alcohol or soapy dishwater and dispose of them, or you can simply squash them. In 2019, the USDA did a census of the nursery and floriculture industries here in Ohio and found that combined, they contribute over $500 million to the state's economy. Both of those industries are particularly under threat from the new spotted lanternfly, but they're plant stressors. And so repeated stress from these insects over time can severely impact the health of your plants. Spotted lanternfly is also a pest of particular concern for grape production. So if you, like me, enjoy all of our local wineries we have here in the Great Lakes region, any of those vineyards are severely under threat from this new insect pest. There is one primary host of the spotted lanternfly that's still very easy to identify throughout the winter. Next to me, I have the Tree of Heaven. This is an invasive tree that was introduced into the United States in the 1700s, and since then has become one of the most common plants in abandoned landscapes and along railways. A few easy identification characteristics to look out for on the Tree of Heaven are these really large leaf scars. So these are the marks that are left after this year's foliage has fallen. And there are these very exaggerated triangles. If you see any Tree of Heaven in your daily ins and outs, it's a good idea to just take a quick peek to see if you find any spotted lanternfly egg masses around. So controlling the spread of spotted lanternfly isn't gonna be something that's accomplished by professionals alone. If you happen to see any while you're out and about, every little bit helps. If you'd like more information about the life cycle of spotted lanternfly or more tips on identifying them, there's a lot of great information on the Ohio Department of Agriculture website, the USDA, and from universities like Penn State and Ohio State.